Hello and welcome to Robotics for All's online volunteer training. We would like to start by thanking you for your interest in being a volunteer for Robotics for All, as well as your time for watching this online training. We hope it will be a productive use of your time. We are going to start by sharing a little bit about Robotics for All. The mission of Robotics for All is Robotics for All strives to educate students at schools with over 50% or more students from low-income families in STEM. And we hope that these will help them gain beneficial skills that will be useful in the rest of their educational and professional careers. And in doing so, we hope that we're going to make steps to help close the achievement gap. So now we're going to share a little bit about your role as a volunteer teacher. So your job will be to lead a group of two to four students. And these students will be with you every week, every class for the duration of the seven week session. And you will be given one Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit and one laptop to, and you'll be responsible for teaching these groups, this group of students. And this segues perfectly into the next point, our teaching tools. We use the Lego Mindstorms EV3 kit number 31313 it is the most common kit that you can buy online and our programming software is a standard lego mindstorms ev3 programming software that you can download from the lego website so it is free to download so if you are interested in preparing a little bit more for the class or playing around with it yourself you can download it on the lego website so this is what we use to teach So now a brief overview of this training session. We are first gonna go over the expectations and guidelines as a volunteer teacher. Part two will be about classroom management and some tips and tricks on how to work with students, conflict resolution, that kind of stuff. And part three will be curriculum overview. And we'll be gonna be reviewing all three of our curriculums and just give you some guidelines and some instruction on how to teach the curriculum. And an important thing to note is that there will be a quiz after each part. So we ask you to please pay attention in, to the important information as it is really important. And um, the quiz will be in the form of multiple choice questions, short answers, and um, a long answer. So that is an overview of our training. Now I'm going to move on to the first section, which is about the expectations. And something to note about these expectations is that all of them or most of them will be in your volunteer teacher agreement. There are a little bit more in here, but the most majority of them are in there. So if you ever need to reference it again, you can always look at that. So I'm going to start off by sharing some professional expectations. We really want all volunteers, all students to have fun and learn a lot. That is our real goal. So when we put in these rules, when we put in these guidelines, it's not because we like rules. We just want to make sure that everything is good and is all set. So there are three big kind of no-nos. First thing is no physical violence. And I guess this is kind of obvious and just no hitting any students, no hitting any other volunteers none of that stuff and only do it in cases of self-defense where the violence is of equal or lesser degree. So we're going to try to avoid any physical violence or even physical content contact. Um, just try to avoid touching the students. That's best to just keep it safe. Another thing is strong verbal put downs. We never want any swearing, no cussing, no insulting to students. If they're doing something wrong, please be very gentle about it. And this also goes to strong verbal put downs to any other school staff member or any other volunteer. Just be careful of your language and we don't wanna make any student feel really bad. And the third thing is no intentional damage to any of our equipment or, or the school's equipment, anything in the classroom. And I guess this kind of goes without say, saying just don't intentionally break stuff. If it happens on accident, that's okay. But these are the big three no-nos that we have in place. 
So please do just do not do any of them. The next topic is about attendance. So we do have an attendance policy, which is listed in your volunteer teacher agreement. Here's kind of the gist of it. So we have excused absences and unexcused absences. So an excused absence is anything like an emergency, such as a sickness, or if you have a family emergency, or just something happens that comes up that you cannot, that you was not, were not able to predict an emergency that you cannot make it to class. That would be considered an excused absence. Another thing that we consider an excused absence is a planned absence with 48 hours minimum notice. So let's say you have a family vacation or you have a doctor's appointment. This would go under planned absence, but in order for it to be excused, we would like you to let us know within, 40, within 48 hours of the class so we can prepare to have one less volunteer teacher. So unexcused absence is anything that is not an emergency or a planned absence with 48 hours minimum notice. And you can and you can only accumulate a maximum of two unexcused absences per school year. Otherwise we'll have a talk with you. Are you really committed to being a volunteer teacher? And another thing to add on to the planned absences, this can be for any reason. So for any reason, you do not you know you're not going to be there 48 hours minimum notice the only thing that we would do not like is just being busy if you have extra work need school work try to make it um but that's basically what a planned absence is next is on to tardiness if you have a pre-communicated circumstance let's say you have something that ends 10 minutes before the class and you take 15 minutes to get to the class then that's okay if you have something that ends every Every day, it's going to be a little bit late. That's fine, but you have to communicate it to us before. Uh, we call an unexcused tardy something that is is within your control. But if it is without of your control, let's say maybe there's a crash on the freeway on your way to the school, that that's okay. So um, when we do have a maximum of three unexcused tardies allowed before you'll have a discussion about that. Now on to technology usage. So our classes are very tech, have a base with technology. So the majority of the technology usage will be using our laptops and our equipment. So there really shouldn't be many times when you need to use your own technology. So this is basically just of our technology policy. First off is cell phones. So we've had sometimes had some problems with cell phones, but the expectation is to keep these cell phones silence and stowed whether it be in your pocket backpack just out of sight and the reason for this is it really doesn't look professional to the students it gives the impression that you don't care if you're going to be on your cell phones so just put them away keep them silent so it won't keep buzzing that that would be great and there are um, a couple exceptions to this the first is timekeeping purposes let's say you need to check the time then in that case it would be okay and then the second one kind of goes without saying, if there is an emergency, if there is a fire in the room or something like that, please do use your cell phone for that circumstance. And another thing is if you need to view curriculum, this shouldn't happen too much because we all have the curriculum on the computers. But if something happens and you need to use your phone to look at the curriculum, that's okay. And then the next thing is about laptops and tablets. So we, we do have, we are going to provide laptops, so there really shouldn't be much of a need to use them. But if you do need to use them, please only use it for robotics for all related purposes. If you're doing it to check something else, this also goes on cell phones. If you're using a laptop or tablet or cell phone to check something else that's not related to robotics for all teaching, that, that should not be happening. 